Hello again, boys and girls. Um, today we are going to do our lesson on the letter F, and we are going to use the story of what we call the lost son or the prodigal son to talk about our faithful father. If you can see that, all right. Faithful father. And I'm going to read you this parable. This was a parable of Jesus, okay? And the reason he told this parable is because he was eating with people who were lost. That's what he came for, was to seek and save the lost. And he was eating with sinners and people that the religious people thought he shouldn't be eating with. And so he told this parable, in fact, he told three parables about um, something that was lost. And the first one was about a lost sheep. The second one was about a lost coin. And then the third one was about a lost son. And we're going to learn about our father, our faithful father, through this parable. This is kind of a cartoon version I thought you would like. This story is found in Luke 15, if you would like to um, read it in Luke 15. Jesus once told this story. Remember, the parables always had a meaning behind them. A man had two sons. One day, the younger son asked his father for money so that he could travel and leave home. The father gave him the money. Now we might think, well, that's okay. What's wrong with that? Um, but what the father was, what the son was doing, excuse me, was treating the father as if he were dead. What he asked him for was his inheritance, what he would get when his father was dead. So that was a very, very disrespectful, dishonorable thing for him to do to his father. But his father loved him and he went ahead and gave it to him. He looks happy, doesn't he? The younger son left home. He was very happy because he could buy anything he wanted now. At least he thought so. He spent his money foolishly while his brother worked hard at home. Soon there was a famine in the land and all the money was gone. He was very hungry, but he could not buy food. Sorry for the glare there. The only job that he could find was feeding pigs. And for a Jewish boy, that would have been awful because they did not touch pigs or eat from pigs or anything. He was so hungry that he could have eaten the pig's food. The son was very sad. He wanted to go home. All of a sudden, it was like a light bulb went off and he thought, hey, wait a minute. My servants of my father, the servants, have more to eat than I do. I'm going to go home. So the son took a chance and he went home. And he decided he was going to say to his father, Father, I'm not worthy to be your son anymore because of what I did. So I'll just be a hired servant. But look at the father. The father had been watching for the son and he ran to meet the son. He embraced him. He hugged him. He said, my son was dead and is alive again because he didn't know what had happened to him. He was lost and he's found. He's home. My son is home. This is of God with us. Jesus said, God is like the father of the lost son. Sorry again. 
He forgives us when we are sorry, no matter how bad we have been. That father loved that son so much that every day he was watching for him, hoping that he would come back home, hoping that his son would return. And that's the way God feels about us. He wants, like like um, Mr. Mark said in his sermon a couple weeks ago, he, he pursues us. He wants us. That father, he didn't know why his son came home. His son could have come home for more money. Um, his son could, could have come home and then left right away again. But the father ran to meet him. That's how badly, how desperately, how, how abundantly, how persistently, Mark used some of those words, the father loves us. And he wants us to come back to him. And he wants to save us. He is a faithful father, even when we're not. Because of what Jesus did for us, on the cross, God is faithful. Now, I have a little game that I thought you might enjoy. I've got the story of the sheep here. In, um, whoops, wait, can you see it? There it is. Let me see if I can get this so you can see it better. See, I'll turn it this way. Okay, see the story of the sheep? Let me flip my phone around here. Eh, what happened? Okay, we talked about the parables of Jesus, stories that Jesus told. He taught in parables, earthly stories that had a hidden or spiritual or heavenly meaning. And I thought you might enjoy this little comic strip type game. I have the story of the lost sheep out of order, and I want you to put it in order. So, which of these do you think is first? Jesus taught in parables. Parables are earthly stories with a heavenly meaning. So that would be first. We'll put that one up there. Now, why did he tell this? Why did he tell those three stories? Do you remember what the, the religious leaders, the Pharisees were saying about Jesus? Which one comes next? Why did he tell these stories? You can tell your mom to stop the video when you pick the one that you think is next or tell your dad or your brother or sister. Okay, I'll go through them again. Oh, he eats with sinners. Shame. See, they were upset because Jesus was eating with tax collectors and sinners, people that they don't think were good enough, that they wouldn't associate with. So then he told them the parable. And how did the parable start? How did the parable start? If you had 100 sheep and lost one, what would you do? You would leave the 99 and search for the lost one. Finding it would make you happy. And scripture says in Luke, where this story is found, there is more joy in heaven over a sinner who is sorry or repents than over 99 good persons who think they don't need to repent. So that's the story of the lost sheep. Remember in this parable and the parable of the prodigal son, and the parable of the lost coin that Jesus was showing us who the father was. That's what he was showing us. And that the father would go to anything to have his children 
be home with him, to have that relationship with him. Hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next time.